Yes, what is it? Is the lady of the house at home? No, she isn't. Could I interest you in a handy brush? Only trying to make an honest bob, Governor. My husband don't give me enough to live on. Jane, the neighbors will hear you. They already have. I've sold brushes to everyone up and down the corridor. Jane, you shouldn't be out there wearing just, just that. Funny, you're the first man in the whole building to complain. <gasps> what do your wife say? Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Duchess, what's the idea of standing out? For you. Richard Starrett. Hmm. 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 What's for breakfast? Oh, come on, Dick. What is it? There's a message warning all young men about women going around selling brushes. Come on, tell. It's good news. Business type good news. Looks like I'm finally gonna get a break on that waterfront looting racket. That's all the wire said. We'd be hearing from an informer. They didn't say when. And they'd be looking for an American named Starrett. Well, let's hope something comes of it. The amounts stolen to date are astronomical. Our claims alone are up to 100,000 pounds. Oh, I'd sure like to wrap this baby up. Wrap up a baby? You know, with every insurance company in the business trying, this would be a real feather in our cap. Would indeed. Well, I think I'll spend the day clearing up some of these small claims. Can't neglect the more routine matters for the spectacular. Don't want the small policyholders to come up with a short end of the stick. Short end of the stick? Oh, it's another Americanism. I'll wander down to the accounts department, see if those figures are ready. Tally-ho. Tally-ho. Tally-ho? Oh, yes, of course. That's English. Uh, Gertrude, is that file ready on the Stevenson case? Uh, come in. C come in. Hello, doctor. How are you? Me? I'm all right. My patients are sick. Who are you? Uh, Starrett. Richard Starrett. Oh, yes, 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 of course. I remember. Who? Oh, I... Who? Starrett. Uh, tribunal Insurance. Tribunal Insurance? Oh, what an extraordinary coincidence. There was a chap on the phone only a short while ago from the tribunal, name of... Uh, Richard, um, Starrett. Yes, well, um, the, that, uh, that's me. Oh, why didn't you say so? Now, what can I do for you? I'm here about the Stevenson claim. Oh, yes, yes. Well, what is it, Mr. Stevenson? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm Starrett. Uh, I'm here in regard to the Stevenson claim. Oh, yes. Well, why didn't you say so? Yes, of course, the Stevenson claim, yes. Yes, well, how serious is it? How serious is what? Stevenson. Who's he? Stevenson, the fracture case. Oh, yes, 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 I recall. I recall I'll just um, get the x-rays. Just take a seat. Thanks, I will. Hello, uh, Mr. Starrett, please. Oh, then give me Mr. Jameson. Peter, Jane. Hello, Jane. How soon are you expecting Dick? We're expecting him back at any minute. Well, tell him to come straight home. The contact he was expecting will be here at one o'clock. The waterfront contact? Oh, well, that's marvellous. Dick didn't expect to hear from him today. Have you any idea where he is? Yes, yes. Oh, here are those tennis shoes that I lost. <laughs> Stevenson? Oh, yes, yes. You know, tennis shoes are not what they wear at all. Oh, no. Ah, here we are. One moment. Yes, now let's uh, see. Yes, now let's see. What's that bird doing on his bones? Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's a pheasant. Hmm. Yes, I've always been fond of pheasants. You know, I used to have a lampshade once with a pheasant on it. That's the lampshade. Oh, yes. Well, I should say that he was a very sick man. I see. Then you think we should play the claim? Oh, well, I mean, I'd have to have a look at the x-rays, of course. You have them in your hand. Oh, yes. You insurance companies certainly work fast. Now, let me see. Just take a little walk over there. That's right. 
I say, yes, you've healed up remarkably quickly. Oh, yes. no, no, Doc, that's not my x-ray. Oh, well, it's not mine. Look, Doc, I didn't break my leg. Henry Stevenson broke his leg. Well, what are we waiting for? Bring him in here. No, it happened four weeks ago. Four weeks ago? Do you mean to say that he's been walking about with a broken leg for four weeks? No. You, see, you said it for him a month ago. A month ago? Well, why hasn't he paid his bill? Doc, no, Doc, look, look, I'm from the Tribunal Insurance Company. Oh, th thank you. He isn't there either. I can't imagine what has happened to him. He didn't expect the contact so soon. So it's getting awfully late. So he may be working on the Stevenson case. I think I'll get in touch with Dr. Porter. He must be tied up somewhere. Hello? Hello? Uh, Dr. Porter speaking. Yes, what? Oh, could you speak a little louder? I find you rather indistinct. Uh, uh, no, well, yes, he was to have come, but he didn't turn up. Yes. Goodbye. Now, Mr. Stevenson, let's start again. Uh. Doctor, it's getting late. I said it's getting late. 